Welcome back. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> well, here I am. This is my first impression as soon as I drop into the game. And I gotta figure they'd have something here. But oh my god, okay, there's the blood moon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Phasmophobia. It's Halloween 2024. It's finally here. The blood moon event has started. And I have no idea what I'm getting into. There's this horrible obelisk here. So. From what I, I did read the patch notes, and there wasn't a whole lot explaining it, but hey, look at this, there is something over here, oh, <laughs> it's just the EULA, I guess I'm gonna have to agree again. So yeah, there's a lot of changes coming with the, uh, console soon, tomorrow, and then, look, there's new fonts for everything, okay, before I go into this, there's also, like, a code down here I just noticed, I don't know what that's about, it looks like a cipher. There was this board over here, though, I wanted to go look at, there's all kinds of writings in here. This is absolutely nuts. Okay, so over here, event board. They mentioned something like the ranger challenge, lighthouse keeper. Okay, wow, this is nuts. Become the lighthouse keeper. Drown souls haunt this recently evacuated tower. Can you save point hope? Point hope, identify ghosts and survive. Lighthouse keeper ID, card, and badge. So I'm already 20, and then there's progress down here. Oh my god. Sunny meadows. Correctly identify ghosts and survive, and you can get an ID card, and then ranger challenge as well. So these are ones you can just work on for a long time. But I don't know if these... I don't know if they'll disappear after some time, but... And then there's the apocalypse cha challenge, so at least now in-game there's an ex explanation for all this in single player. Alright, I don't want to get too focused on all this other stuff. Now where all the photo board is in there. That's where this is now, or that's where this used to be. And then the Blood Moon event. Okay, let me l at least read this one. Blood Moon event. The Blood Moon is rising and it's empowering paranormal entities. Take care, they're stronger than ever. As a community, identify ghosts correctly. Complete optional objectives. Photograph any totems you find. Once the stage is complete, interact with the Blood Altar in the warehouse to receive your rewards. So my fear is it says as a community. Does that mean I have to play with other someone else? Because I kind of want to play by myself here. So stage one... I don't know what that means. I guess this is like the community progress, right? So it's everyone as a whole. So I guess I just need to get in there. So locations, Point Hope, Edgefield, Willow, and Grafton. So only one big map and it's Point Hope. 16 days. That seems longer than I was remembering. But anyway, let's actually just get in there because I want to see what this event is all about. Okay, so I don't know if... Whoa, I was on custom. So amateur is... I don't understand. Maybe you just have to go in like on normal, whatever difficulty you choose. Because they've done that before for events. You get to choose your difficulty, but the ghosts are still going to be stronger. So let's just try it on professional to make it simple enough. And then, uh, let's just do Willow. Because Willow is like the easiest map here. I forgot to mention, I'm wearing my Blood Moon outfit here. Two red shirt and red jacket. So, oh god, the rain. So, I'm John Martinez. Last year there was the Blood Moon, but I've actually just remembered the, like, skull in the sky and mainly the cauldron. But there's the Blood Moon this time. And oh my god, I didn't really think about it being raining. This is a downpour. And of course, these places are decked out, so... I'm supposed to, like, take photos of stuff? I'm just gonna walk around and enjoy it. Looks like the breaker's in the basement. I... You have to collect points. Is there anything in here that explains it? I guess not. But you you collect these blood points somehow, so I'm just gonna start playing the game. I already see something in there. I grabbed my normal loadout. It is crazy looking out here. Yeah, I expect no less than all these writings. Okay, <laughs> I guess there's no TV. But we do have a hiding spot in here. Now, these obelisks, or not obelisks, there's some kind of altar I'm supposed to take a photo of. Maybe this is one of them? I don't really know if I want to take a photo just yet before I know. Holy crap, though, this whole place is messed up. So, uh, maybe this is what I need to take a photo of. Okay, let me just go ahead and... There we go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do something. How, how is that a two-star? Oh, I guess because I should actually take a photo of the moon. I'm going to keep it, because I should get points for it for some reason and now I can't take another photo okay that should be those moon totems we're looking for that's what it's called a moon totem every room has candles that could get blown out now so watch out for onrios in these maps oh my god there's a candle oh bone and this okay what am I gonna get a photo for here there's the bone let's take a photo of the moon I guess you're actually 
I should actually watch that, I forget. You gotta take a photo of the moon, not the totem, because look, I missed the moon. That's why I got a two star. Wow, well, we're on professional. <laughs> a demonic teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> we So we do have some hiding spots, at least for professional. So yeah, I guess that's, you know, what the point of this event is. Is just community, everyone going in, and every moon totem that I'm getting all adds up to everyone else's. I have not heard a ghost in here. That usually means it's probably in the basement. So yeah, this isn't really a puzzle based one. This is one where you just go in and you play the game. So I really like how this one is set up. Oh, I have no clue where this ghost is going to be. <laughs> I didn't even think about the breaker. All these candles being turned on makes the place feel pretty lit up. Look at this. There's candles everywhere. Okay. I'm going to start looking for this ghost properly. I might have to get a thermometer in here. And look, there's another one of these totems. So that's a lot of easy... I keep... I'm just trying to make sure I get the photo. I'm so worried about the photo. Here, I'll eventually not do that and watch that. Okay, the one room we haven't gone into is the garage, so maybe you're in here. Okay, for once, I'm gonna watch this happen. There we go. Nice fade away. That sounded like a really big throw. Oh god, you really were just in the entrance, were you? I don't know if one of these was a poltergeist throw, but I'm gonna take photos of both of these and just hope for the best. Okay, it sucks this is, this is a two star, but I don't really want perfect games here, I just want to do this right. So since the ghost is right here, I'm gonna leave and see what sanity we have, because it could have my, drained my sanity more, so I just gotta go check. Mm, please get me out of this blood rain. Meh. It's kind of far down. So we need to prevent, paramike, and then cleanse. Okay, I should just treat this like a normal professional game and see if we come out of it with a good amount of these blood points. Or it should tell me somewhere at the end of the game, maybe. I guess it's not telling me in here, but let's get a crucifix or two in there since we're going down to hunt range and <laughs> just continue the insanity. But then maybe I'll get a book in there. Ah, you know what? Let's just do one crucifix because I want to get some evidence in there. We'll see if it's freezing. Okay, uh, the only way it could hunt is on this corner of the room. I hear my EMF going off. Does not seem to be down to freezing. Can I still turn on lights in this place? Okay, I can, but of course they're blood lights. Well, here, put down this book. Give us a sign. I want to try and organize my stuff. I think this is a poltergeist. That sounded like another poltergeist throw. It sounded like multiple things. Maybe it was just this one plate. It's writing over there. <laughs> so, I think writing could be poltergeist. Let me see. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, right now it feels like poltergeist, but I don't know. So what else for poltergeist? And then, just find out. This new font is pretty nice. Spirit box UV. So should I just go and get that? We have, hmm, we have hiding spots back there. Oh my god, I actually have a lot of hiding spots. Look at the eyeballs in here. Oh, and it's the Ouija board. Okay, well, I want to maybe just go ahead and complete this first one before doing anything crazy. So, man. If we need to get... There we go. I had, There's that EMF-5. See, I had literally just asked for a unique EMF-5 sound, and there it is. Okay. Not a poltergeist, then. Oh my god, I don't think this is gonna be a shade. Maybe it's just a spirit, that would make sense. Hmm, not really, but just, you know, generic spirit for a uh, first Halloween game. Alright, I'm dropping stuff. And like I said, I just want to get the ghost right. We already have pretty much full photos. And I should, I think they said to get objectives, so I, I will get the objectives. Okay, <laughs> sanity didn't lower too much that time. Paramic and then cleanse. So maybe I will... Uh, I'm gonna get a smudge in there. But, oh, what other could it be? Let's not bring in something it might not be. I don't, I don't think it's freezing. It's going to be UV or Spirit Box, which I kind of thought it was going to be. So I guess I'll get the smudge in there. I don't know. Well, I'll come back for the Paramic. I do want to do all the objectives, though. I'm really trusting in my one crucifix here to do the job. Did you turn on a light in here? I definitely didn't turn this light on. Maybe you have roamed, and this actually isn't your room, but you did right all, all the way over here. Okay, that is a door touch. I'm gonna, I hate to drop stuff, but let me make sure I know what door I'm even looking at here. 
Okay, I don't see fingerprints. So maybe we'll rule that out. But let me check these temperatures again. I'm gonna drop this by the door. Where's my U... not UV, this temperature. Maybe it is just roaming out of its room. Let me at least make sure this is still the golden room. Which it is. Okay, maybe I'll try a spirit box session in here. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you- oh, are you away? Are you here? Let me turn off all the lights. Are you here? Are you far? Are you close? Are you here? Where are you? I see those street lights out there. Are you, uh, I hear- where are you? Are you here? Are you far? Are you close? Please just go back to your own room. Are you here? Are you close? Are you far? It's been roamy a lot. Part of me wants to make, take more sanity. Let's go get like the paramic and get the other crucifix. Okay, we already checked the door if it's freezing or fingers, but I want to get the salt in here just to make sure. And maybe it'll put the ghost back in the room, or at least it'll keep it from going too far away. And then I think I'll put one out here in case I get hunted. <laughs> maybe that'll slow it down for me. <gasps> I like how these plates are just glowing red. But let me check the temperature one more time. I don't think it's a shade either with how much it's been interacting. And the thing is, you just touch that door, and if you go through the salt, I'm afraid you're going to go back into this room. I want to rule out UV. No freezing. I think this is a spirit. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you here? Are you close? Are you far? Because it's not freezing. We know for sure it's not fingerprints. I mean, I could turn off the breaker for a bit and see if it goes down to freezing. Maybe Blood Moons are just really warm for some reason. Oh, I bet this isn't even the favorite room anymore, because look, the temperature... Okay, you have officially moved into this room. Maybe. Okay, well now the breaker is out. Okay, the only thing I could really get for sure... Let me make sure I have this on me. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm gonna move this to the center as much as I can. And then I don't know about this other one. I could leave it in here. Man, this has got me all thrown over the place. I'm gonna put it in here in case it like hunts in the garage or something. All these salts. It hasn't walked through the salt. But I don't think it could be a wraith. Okay, you know what? Let's just smudge. Now, were you around to be affected by that? Okay, you are smudged now. I'm going to sit with the paramic, get the objectives, and then maybe I'll just have to... I mean, getting a hunt here won't help. There's my paramic. Oh my god, I turned the paramic on as a ghost sound was happening. <laughs> I didn't even know it worked like that. And then just prevent now. So I gotta lower my sanity, which we've been close to the range. Now, I'm going to leave the breaker off, and we're going to see if it goes down to freezing. I don't, I don't think it's a shade. I think this is a spirit. We got the EMF 5 in the writing. All this other stuff it couldn't be. We have not seen the UV. I mean, it didn't walk through the salt, but maybe it just hasn't left. I'm going to cover this side, and then I guess I'm going to cover this side. Just hope for the best with this. Oh, and there it goes to the salt. So let me just make sure there's no footprints here, which there's not. So yeah, you can choose to do this on whatever difficulty you want. So I'm, I think I'm going to do it on professional. But I, they've learned from the past to just let people choose their own difficulty when it comes to these events. Okay. The only thing then... I guess I should just do another spirit box session. It's... How is this a shade? Hold on, freezing? No, it's a j wait, hold on now. It is a shade, it's the most, well, <laughs> it's the blood moon. Even the blood moon can make a shade go crazy. There you go, blood moon immediately showing me its power. So the thing about a shade is, I'm gonna have to be in the other room when it hunts. So now I gotta drain all my sanity. Let's make sure I'm armored up with smudge sticks. I don't know where I put them. Oh, maybe I used one, did I not bring in another though? Oh God. Let me go get smudge sticks, and then I'm going to use the Ouija board to get hunted. 
Oh god, no. I'm very low sanity, so we can already get hunted pretty much. How did I drain my sanity so much there? Whatever. Give me the smudges, so no, I only did bring in... Oh, I guess I have my light on me. Okay. I can't even use the Ouija board then, because it's just going to drain all my sanity. So let's just get in there. I'm going to have to sit in another room and hope it uses the crucifix. But I wonder how the Blood Moon is going to affect the ghosts. I really need to do this just to see how the ghosts are affected. And at least this is a shade, so we know it's not a fast ghost. But I'm going to sit in here, I guess. Now I could go... See what I mean? It's very violent throws. But it's just one thing being thrown. That's not the poltergeist explosion. Okay. So, the only hiding spot... I, I kind of stood still there because I didn't I didn't think that was a hunt. I think the hunt always happens with Okay, so much for the breaker. I'm gonna yeah, keep that light on for now. I think the hunt always has like that gurgle sound or some kind of sound, but that time there was just I only heard my heartbeat, so that was different. But I gotta be in a oh. We already know that this is a shade, but I want to get hunted here just to see what happens. Oh, dude, did you see his eyes? I gotta see him again. They are faster. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and smudge him right here. <gasps> Look at him go. Oh, oh. Oh, he went through the salt. Oh my god, my own salt saved me. Now, did he see me go into the hi this hiding spot, though? He might have. This is awesome, though. Yes, every ghost is supercharged, just like they said. Okay, but that was still just a normal hunt. So, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Even a shade you need to be afraid of. That's so cool. I forget they always do stuff to, like, edit the ghost. You know, like the Santa Claus ghost and stuff like that. And the snowman. So, it's cool to see that this is the blood moon is taking over the ghost like this. Alright, we're down to no sanity, but we have the objectives and we have the ghost. I took photos of, I think, all the totems or yeah moon totems as they were called so let's see if what kind of feedback i can get here ghost type shade it sounds so creepy in here i'm gonna hit skip 1367 but does it say anything blood moon 10 percent that's cool blood moon team points 20 so yeah I, they do want you to team up because it's, you know it's the console version's coming out so they want everyone to be playing together okay but i want to see is there any more progress over here? Point zero point zero one. So I don't... I really don't understand. But th the thing is... I, I haven't really actually even read on to this. I just jumped on here and I am just going for it. Now the thing is, there is no like check mark for doing it. You just go in here and you collect points. So what I am going to do is do a good completed run on every one of these maps. But let me just take the time here to read this. Blood Moon is rising. Identify ghosts correctly. Complete optional objectives. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, I guess I did read and pay attention. Once this stage is complete, to interact with the Blood Altar in the warehouse to receive your rewards. Oh. Okay. I don't understand as a community. Does that mean, like, every single person playing? And then once... I think it does. Like, they want every single person. It's not just about playing in a group. If you play in a group, I think you earn more points. But I think the... I'm not sure. I don't know if this is just my own progress or if this is everyone's progress. It's not very clear. What does as a community mean? All right, we're continuing on with game two. We're going into Edgefield to continue with the house maps. Then we'll go to Grafton, which will be a bit spookier, and then finally Point Home. So, actually, yeah, it is all small maps this time, isn't it? Wow, this is so cool. I want to turn off my light to check this out. This is awesome. All right, first totem. Listen to that thing. Alright, this is a, probably already like my favorite event, because it is just about you playing the game. All you have to do is play the game to get progress, but you gotta deal with the crazy events and stuff. And also the supercharged ghosts. Okay, ghost, you're in this area. Does that mean you're leading me to the basement, or are you just up here? Oh, let's go look around the house for more of these, and also for a hiding spot. I hope this one's open, which it's not. Now the breaker was in here. 
I kind of want to, I don't know if these candles are like keeping my sanity up. They probably aren't because they're like blood candles. But I need to find a good hiding spot, which might be upstairs. Oh my god, another eyeball room with a rib cage in it. But, oh, was there a Ouija board or something here? I'm not even like looking for cursed items. I should be. Let me look around. Alright, I'm gonna head upstairs. We know the coast is somewhere downstairs. Now the monkey paw could be in here, which it is. Alright, I don't think I'll need that. God, look at everything in here, though. Okay, finally one hiding spot up here. God, look, there's the totem. Also, I am, should be looking for totems up here. If they're up here, I should hear them. Okay, I got some closets up here to hide in. But no totem. There should be one up here somewhere. Maybe it's back in this room. No, and I don't hear it. Hmm. Well, this one, <laughs> this door is completely covered. Oh, and then yes, of course, this one had one in it. Let's see. So even though this is harder, you get a lot of free photos from all these totems, so I don't know. And also, I, like I said, if uh, the candles do give you sanity, then that would also be a bonus. So even though it's creepy around here, at least you have the san sanity candles or the candles to help your sanity, but I don't think they would. Okay, making sure there's not another one up here. I don't think there is. It's probably just going to be one in the basement now. And I think that's where the ghost is. Also, oh, EMF5. There's that wonderful EMF5 sound. And also my EMF5 luck. Every ghost I get is like an EMF5 ghost now. Okay, maybe you prefer this room then. Let me check the basement just for fun. I don't think the ghost is down here. But I want to see if there's a hiding spot. <laughs> also, this basement. Oh, I was going to say it suspiciously doesn't have anything in here, but... Yeah, it is decked out. Is there not a... Maybe the totem positions are random. Like, maybe one could be here. Alright. I heard another door touch, so I kind of want to go get the fingerprints, the UV. But I think we have a kitchen ghost. Touch this door again. I'm taking more photos. At least I'll get extra money for that. Alright, I'm going to drop this stuff and go get UV. And the sanity is down around 65, so I want a crucifix in there. Uh, UV, maybe the temperature. I'm going to turn on this front light here and just, oh, is the breaker out? Damn it, did you really already turn the breaker off on me? Well, maybe that's better because, God, it's actually very warm in here. What about the bathroom then? Okay, you just like the bathroom, and you roamed out over there earlier. Okay, main thing, there. I'm glad I thought about it. Let me get a photo of that. Now, we're full on photos. We have the bone. So, maybe perfect game? I guess we'll have to see. Let's cover just this whole general area with this. And yeah, more fingerprints. I should be checking for Obake. But let's put in my evidence. EMF5 and UV. And it could be. Now, it turned off the breaker, right? So, no gin. I don't want to have to look for Goryeo Dots. Breaker's in here. Very easy setup with this game. I heard that. Yeah, turned off the breaker, so we know it's not a gin. So, what should we be looking for, then? Writing. I'm gonna rule that out. I'm gonna rule that out. Alright. Could be Goryeo Dots again. So, let's look for everything else first. Oh, ooh, ooh, you just touched the door and there's no fingerprints. <laughs> that makes me think you're Obake. Alright, so what would Obake be then? The ghost orb? Yes. So let's mm, maybe just go confirm that with the ghost orb. But Obake has a chance to not leave fingerprints, and I just heard it touch this door, and it did not leave fingerprints. <laughs> also, maybe it was this door. Okay, let's see, that's why I still just need to go figure this out. I feel like I'm going a million miles per hour right now. <gasps> with this event. Okay, let's try and regroup. We know we have EMF5. I don't think it can be freezing, no. Uh, my escape route is upstairs. We have the monkey paw. All right, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm probably in hunt range. That's why I just, I, uh, I need to capture a photo of the ghost too and I missed my opportunity there. All right, getting the other crucifix in there and I need a bear mic sound. So I do want to go for a perfect game, but how am I going to get a photo of the ghost? I need to, like, smudge. Let's get smudges. I'll come back for the paramic. And 
Yeah, the other crucifix. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Okay, since you were over here, I kind of want to cover this side. Mm, this will cover, wow, a lot. I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to try and cover the whole bathroom. I mean, that should cover... I mean, that should cover so much, right? How far did this crucifix go over? Oh god, it went so far. So yeah, like, this thing could go really far away. I'm going to just put it, like, center here. <laughs> I think I'll be good. But uh, hopefully at low sanity, I'll get another event here and be able to take a photo. I'm going to drop one smudge, grab my photo cam, make sure my headlight is not on. I've been avoiding using my headlight this time. Alright, who is this ghost? Christopher White, give us a sign. Please use the blood moon and show yourself. Okay, well that's a sign. I don't need more photos. It did- whoa. It like- I, oh, I guess that really just was the light that was so bright in here. I thought it may have blew out candles doing that. Okay, well that's not an objective this time. I need to get the paramic sound. So I'll tell you what, let's just go grab a paramic. I might as well just drop my other stuff. I don't know what else I'm going to bring in here. Maybe the other smudge. I don't, oh, let's get the salt just to slow it down. Oh, two more smudges. I'm going to put some salt down. And, oh, I need the paramic. Okay, then one smudge in the paramic. Okay, putting black salt down here. And also, if it comes... Is that a hunt? I don't think so. Are ghost events different now? Oh, that door. You are roaming in here. Which I do not appreciate. Look, like, there's another symbol. Where, where did you just go? Oh god, see, that's where you went. You went here. I, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to smudge. This is awful. If he finds my hiding spot here, I'm gonna have to smudge and then go upstairs. I don't think he'll check in here. He'll have to go all the way in here to find me. I have kind of like a makeshift hiding spot here. He's fast. He had to go, like, roam in the foyer, didn't he? If I had my paramic. Can I hear him? I think... I may have just alerted him to my position. I don't think so. How, are you still going? No, okay. So, uh, I really want to get the objectives here. Paramic is easy, really. But how am I supposed to get a photo of the ghost without using the monkey paw? Okay, I'm gonna smudge you. No, I'm not. I don't... <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ, the blood moon. I gotta step outside. I don't even have the lighter on me, so I'm glad I didn't even have to smudge there. I shouldn't even be alive again. Okay. I want to... Take all my sanity. I'm going to sit in there and get a paramic sound. And then I'm going to use the monkey paw to try and get a photo of the ghost, which is probably going to get me killed. But I'll at least get another smudge in there. And please, take the damn lighter. I almost got myself killed with that. Now, I could bring in motion sensor. I don't know how it would help me. But I'm just going to get in there, sit with the paramic until I get it. And then the final thing we're going to do is use the monkey paw to get a photo, because I forgot I had the monkey paw up there. Now, are you in here, ghost? You, this is your, oh, you are in here. So I got a smudge, got a lighter, got my light, and I'm, I'm gonna sit here with my paramic till I get this. I'm at full sanity. I'm probably gonna drain or lose sanity here. At least I have this room's light on. Okay, well taking full sanity really seems to calm this ghost down. Even though the blood moon, there we go, it's starting to go again. The photo of the ghost is gonna suck. At least I have the opportunity, but I don't think I've ever successfully taken a photo of the ghost with the monkey paw yet. So I have an idea. But at least it's staying near its room. That's the full sanity thing. It's supposed to roam more the lower your sanity, so hopefully at full sanity it stays near its room. Now, an Obake can shapeshift, but I doubt I'm going to be able to see that during this hunt. Especially if I'm like blinded by the monkey paw, which is going to happen. Alright, I appreciate you walking through the motion sensor. That means you're in that room. Oh my god, why are you turning off this light? 
And how did my thing not hear that? That means you like walked into here, didn't you? Oh, what door was that? I hope that was the door to his bathroom. Okay, finally, we got the sound. The last thing now is this photo of the ghost. So there's my camera. I'm gonna go grab the monkey paw. Now, my luck with the monkey paw, maybe they've fixed the voice, but I can never talk to the monkey paw. So this is gonna really suck if I have to I'm going to try and talk to the monkey paw. Oh my god, look at all these smudges, actually. I need to have these, like, around here for safety. Do I have two inventory slots? I do. So let me grab these two smudges. One of these I'm, I'm gonna use. My god, there are so many around here. I'm gonna try and put another one. This is, like, over-preparation. I don't... I'm gonna try and hide right here. So there, there's one in here. There's one here to smudge if I need it. I'm, I'm gonna try and smudge down here to begin with. Okay, here goes nothing. Where's the monkey paw? I wish to see... Every time I hit the mic, I wish to see the ghost. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god, the monkey paw worked for once and now I'm blinded. Here, I'm gonna smudge. That way if he goes to the stair, he's just gonna get smudged. Oh my god, it worked! Are ghost events different now? It was quiet. I don't need to do that, but I did it anyway. Oh my god. So that ghost event, I didn't hear anything. And maybe that's how it works with the monkey paw. You can't hear that event. But this is, that was awesome <laughs> for like my first time to use the monkey paw for a photo. I don't want to let go of this door, but I do want to look at that photo. Let me let this guy finish, and then I'm going to get it out. Get out. Oh, no. I'm going to get out of here. Please let me get out. So this one is a cursed hunt. Oh, and <laughs> I don't know. The lighting changed again, but let me get the hell out of here, please. All right, I'm heading back. I'm going to look and see. Photo of ghost. What? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. I, hey, at least I did it. But I forget you... I'm so old school that I forget that they've changed that. I still haven't remembered that. I haven't played this game enough to remember that. But hey, at least I did it, all right? But of course, I don't get credit because it's not actually in the book. Welcome but the thing is... Job's ready for you. You, know, you know what? That really sucks, too, because... Do I even get the photo? It used to be that... If you took a photo, it would just... The last photos would cycle through here, so... No, I guess not. It just cycles whatever photos were in your book. Okay, whatever. I guess I just gotta get with the times. But let me go over here and look and see... If this has gone up any... See, now it's... <laughs> now it's back to saying Nan percent. So I think this is supposed to be, like, tracking everyone... Like, everyone that's playing, from the way they explained it, everyone who's playing is supposed to be working towards this goal. Let me go back and walk over here. Apparently, you're supposed to get rewards from this, but no, it's not giving me anything yet. Alright, so now we're on Grafton. We have to repel and prevent an average sanity, but no ghost photo. Ghost photo is the one I hate, but it wasn't even that bad. But I took such a good ghost photo, and I didn't even get to see it in the book. Oh, well. Alright, let's get in there. We know where the breaker is. But of course, even this place is going to be decked out now, so I gotta do my first walkthrough of this place. Now, cursed items and grafting. I do think I remember them. There could be a mirror right there. And then the music box. Okay, well, we have the music box. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use that to find the ghost, but... Maybe the ghost will just tell me where it is because of the blood moon making it so active. But alright, I'm kind of forgot. I gotta be looking for these totems as well. There's the first one. I should actually, like, watch it instead of just walking away. Anything in here? There's a hiding spot if I need to run back here. Maybe I should have my EMF on. Give us a sign. Is anyone around here? It was Richard Anderson. Dick Anderson, where are you? Oh, wow. There's just this awful candle in the middle. Oh, I thought that was something. It's just like a glowing... <laughs> it's a glowing magazine. Game changer. And we found the bone at least. But how have I walked through here and not heard anything? So hiding spots back here. And then back in the workshop. I haven't even gone to the breaker yet. 
I really don't feel like you even need to turn on the lights with all these candles around here. But I will run on back here. <laughs> this guy's got a candle in between them. And here's that breaker. And it, wow, the breaker's got writing all over it. But yeah, good hiding spots. It feels like there should be less hiding spots, but we're on professional. So I guess I'm getting pretty good spots. What is that? What the, what the hell is that? What is, oh, maybe that's the totem upstairs? Maybe that is the totem. I thought it like it was the radio and it was giving me like a demonic radio sound. I bet it's, yeah, okay. It was this going through the floor. All right, I found you, Blood Moon. But I have not found this ghost. There's a hiding spot. You're just gonna be back in this attic storage room. Where are you, ghost? Is anyone here? Oh my god, so many places to go hide, but I need to find this ghost. And with it being a blood moon, surely that's gonna be pretty easy. <laughs> Axe has all the writing around it. Oh god. And I haven't gone into this room though. Maybe this spooky ass room at the end of the hall here has the ghost in it. Well, it has a totem. Oh, and I see a can rolling. It does have the ghost in it. Alright, well that's a spooky way to find the ghost here on Grafton. And there's all kinds of cans. You've been throwing all kinds of beer. Let me... I heard this. Oh, you did touch one of the... I saw these and I thought one of these should be out of place if the ghost is in here. And now it actually is. So no EMF5 yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some other stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Every time I come back in here and check, it's about the same. Around 65 to 70. So we gotta get that sanity below, which we can do with the music box, and then prevent and repel. So maybe I'll get one crucifix in there in case it wants to drain sanity and just for safety. You know what, though? I wanna get three evidence in there. For once, I'm bringing in three evidence items, and we have not been using the dots, so I'm bringing in the dot sensor. Dots projector, I should say. So this time I am playing it a little risky by not taking sanity. I'm gonna drop this, turn off the... <gasps> I don't need a ghost photo, why are you invisible again? Is that EMF5 by the way? That sounds really strong. Yes, it is EMF5. Thank you, Kinetic Games, for listening because I wanted that EMF5 to be a different sound for the longest time. Or at least ever since I started using this tier three. All right, I'm gonna have this DOS projector project right into the room like that. I don't, once again, I don't see you. Okay. Put down the book. I don't have a crucifix or anything to get away from the ghost. So I'm going to once again walk away and try and get outside. I'm going to turn off the light. There, turn off the light, close that door. I'll go back to the truck and look at that camera for ghost orbs. But please, let me get out of here for a second. That ghost just started going off. Now... No, none of that, but we, okay, EMF 5, but I don't have anything else, do, don't I? Uh, please don't be a you with this blood moon. Okay, yeah, now we're definitely in hunt range. I'm going back up there with two crucifixes, and I'm going to get the smudge just in case it hunts me as I go back in there. All right, I guess I'm going to have to rely on my headlamp. <laughs> I didn't look at the <laughs> dots. It's fine. I wanted to get back in here with these crucifixes. I'm going to put this crucifix right back in this corner. And I'm going to put it way over here. Because I assume, wow, that crucifix is gone. Where did that one go? Please. Are you downstairs? Oh my god, you don't seem like a raiju. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to one of these hiding spots. I'm going to go in here. <laughs> That's so fast. Maybe it is a raiju. That's thumping hard. Okay, here's my hiding spot. Jesus. It actually made it its way down here. I think it was faster. It might be a Raiju. I think it was faster when it was in the room. I don't... Maybe it's a Jin. Raiju would be dots and then ghost orbs. So let's try and go back up there and look for that. Now, how did it survive? Or how did it not hunt? Or not get affected by the crucifix?
Now what about sanity? No crucifix, no sanity objective. All I got is my one thing here. Here, I'm gonna put this way back here. I know you're doing EMF again. Well, no ghost orb. So that maybe it's not a mimic. Maybe it was a djinn? No, it could have been a djinn and it was far away. Also, I don't, this dots is covering this whole room and I have not seen the dots. Could it be Goryo? Could. Let's go look outside for a bit and see if we get Goryo dots. But, <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of want to sit in here in the dark just to drain sanity. But let's go look for Goryo dots since it could be. Okay, how do I not have the sanity objective there? It should be done by now, yeah. I just looked and wasn't there. So I do have to repel and I have to prevent. So I'm keeping my sanity low. But I don't have anything to tell me what this ghost is. I need to go in there. Let's get freezing. UV. <laughs> I left my smudge in there. We I put the writing book in there, but it hasn't tried writing. Alright, like I said, let's finally look in here. I guess I will sit here for a minute and look for the dots, but really I should just go back in there and try and get hunted again. Okay, I'm going back in with the spirit box, which I'm probably not even going to be able to use. I should look. I'm sure the spirit box is a potential one. Is the breaker off? Because then I can rule out Jin when it's not off. Alright. Either hunt me with the crucifix, or don't hunt me at all. Do we have UV? Did I already... See, this is where I get previous games confused. I don't think I brought in any UV yet. Let me drop that. I want to have my smudge on me. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you away? Are you here? Didn't I put a book somewhere in here? Or did you... I swear I was missing a book on the thing. Okay, there's the fingerprints. Not mm, freezing fingerprints. <laughs> it's not Oreo fingerprints. What is happening? I haven't seen dots. I could take photos, but I'm not super worried about that. What is the freezing? Oh my god, it is freezing. Okay, it is a gin. Wow, so maybe it did speed up when it was kind of far away, but I don't know. Maybe the gin was like down... Maybe he was like in that corner and I was down here so it sped up for a second, but it's fast no matter what. Okay, we know it's a gin. I have my smudge. What are the objectives? Prevent and then repel. So now I need you to hunt or at least try. Okay, Christopher, please. I need you to hunt me where it's so low sanity. I'm gonna pl <laughs> turn that off. I didn't even realize that was still going. I'm so used to the rain. I'm just getting used to all the background noise. Now this... Is this really shoved up in the corner? Like, that's... Well... I actually do want to cover the corner as much as I can. But then that goes... All the way out to here. And what about this one? This kind of covers it. Maybe it really did just hunt from this one little spot that... Couldn't... Be covered. Oh, yeah! <laughs> he had only one eye glowing, didn't he? No. I see you... Flashing lights out here. Look at this. Okay, there's the prevent. Now I'm gonna take the other one and put it way out here just to cover for me. So that way he won't hunt out here if he roams. So what I'm gonna try and do is get the ghost to hunt from out here. Like how that, oh well the, if the ghost uses the crucifix it turns off every light in the house. So I wanna get this other one out of here before he uses it. <laughs> Don't use it in my hands please. So, I don't know, I'll just use it to cover, like, out here. And maybe, like, into that bathroom a little. But he shouldn't hunt from in here anyway. Now, I gotta be careful. It is a gin. I'm switching back to this light. Okay, Christopher. Oh. <laughs> Christopher, I need you to hunt me now. I know you're pissed off. The crucifixes are gone. That's not a hunt. That's just you standing in inside a desk. Turn that light back on. Alright, see, the main thing here is to get the evidence, so I'm not worried about photos. Well, we have the evidence. But the main thing is the objectives and the ghost type, so I'm not worried about photos. I thought I had a book in here, and yes, I did. And there it went. Okay, Christopher, come on. Now is the time to hunt me. Give us a sign. Do, do something. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, that's speed up. Okay, that should be a smudge with incense. I'm gonna do the same strategy I did before. Hope he didn't see me go around that corner. Oh my god, he is fast. I don't think he's coming in here for me, though. Okay, we're good. It's been a while since I've had to hide back here. There's all the objectives. We know it's a gin. I think it was kind of fast that time, but I'm not sure. It seemed so speedy. After it saw me, it sped up really quickly. So that's the main thing with this blood moon is after it sees you, the ghost is going to come right for you. I don't think it's hunting. I'm just trying to get lucky. All right. I'm going to say this one was a good one, and we're going to head to Point Hope. Okay, so I'm also like 750 bonus, so I'm leveling up during this. We're making good money, Blood Moon team points, so maybe that's what like the points we're getting. I got so I got 19. Maybe you'd get more. I don't think they'd punish people who play the game by themselves. I know most people don't, but I know a lot of you know content creators do play the game by themselves, so I don't think they'd want to punish people for playing the game on their own. So 19. Last time I got like 20. I guess I'll go through this summary, but I'm not too interested in it. But I'm going to go back over here again and see if this has gone up. Yeah, it still says 0%. Now it says 0, though. It doesn't say, or does it say Nan? No, it just says 0. At one point, it says 0.01. .01. So I don't know. I think this is like supposed to be the community progress. So either way, we're going to get back in here and we're going to run through the final map on Point Hope. Okay, we're here on Point Hope now, but something I noticed is the lights are already on, so it's like the breaker on already, but it is the Blood Moon. And something else I wanted to point out is the Point Hope now has its own unique key, so that's pretty cool. But what, a photo of Ghost, blow out Firelight, and then prevent again. But the good news is the breaker is on the second floor, so we're, we won't have to go too far for that. But I am curious, like, the lights are on. Uh, I'm on Professional. Maybe that's just like an atmosphere thing, but I don't... Here, let me gotta hit this. But is the breaker on? Like, I'm really confused. No, it's just these are on by default, I guess, with the Blood Moon and also Goodbye World. Alright, turn on my light. Go in here, look for hiding spots. Now we're playing Point Hope again. So I guess I'll just do my thing. <laughs> Check out all these rooms. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, these are going to be interesting spots, aren't they? No tarot cards. And no hiding spot under the stairs. <laughs> I want to do my thermometer strategy. I feel like that's the best way to play Point Hope is just getting the thermometer. I heard something, though. So maybe we don't need it. We have this. But I swear I just heard something get thrown. It was either on the floor below me or b above me. I'm, go I'm going to go below. I don't think it... Is anyone here? I probably don't have time to get EMF, but I think the ghost is nearby. I swear I heard something get thrown, like a physical object. So let me go up to the next floor. I bet it was up here. Also, this damn door. Close the damn door. At least I can turn on some lights around here. Is it? Oh, yeah, okay. It was up here. See, I told you I heard something. All right. Maybe this isn't going to be too bad of a point hope game it's that clock and we have the mirror in the room that the ghost is in well let's <laughs> drain all my sanity by <laughs> going up the floors at point hope but i want to get the other moon totems and also look for a hiding spot around here because i'm gonna have to like go upstairs i'm either gonna have to run all the way back down to like the bathroom in the entrance for a hiding spot or i'm gonna have to run up here now is there a totem back here no i thought this would be a good spot for one but so there should only be like mm, one or two more. I think there's only like mm, probably like three or four per game. I would think there would be like f four because there's like a potential four investigators. So I don't know. That's just what I'd think. But either way, I'm going to clear out all these floors and check out all the stuff going on in these rooms. We already know what the uh, cursed item is. Come on, there's got to be one more of those totems up here. I bet it's going to be all the way up at the top, isn't it? What about this? Nope. Alright, I gotta go up here. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on, don't get stuck on the stairs, especially during a hunt. Oh, and did find the bone up here. So it's kind of weird, like, when you complete all of these maps, it's not about just doing them all once. You're supposed to just keep doing this and doing this until, like, the community gets it done. So you really are just supposed to keep playing and playing. But for this video, I'm going to run through all of it, or just all of them once. And then I'm going to have to, oh, the red light, of course. I'm going to have to see 
what's going on with the community progress and all that because it literally just came out so maybe it's not working exactly properly so we'll have to see when we get these rewards and stuff but now there's like the ranger challenges and stuff which is you know just go to a location and you know do do the investigation all right well look <laughs> i walked around up here i just want to make sure that there really is nothing up here and also just take a nice look around again somewhere oh wow i think this map is like a lot more optimized probably for console i think there used to be a lot more out there a lot more foliage and stuff but now it looks way different out there doesn't it okay well now that all my sanity has been completely obliterated let's see if i can go down here and get killed by the ghost oh i thought i heard something there's another obelisk i want to call it an obelisk but it's a totem to me an obelisk is any demonic looking thing okay i'm gonna stop running <laughs> at least down the stairs hello ghost i know you're around here i'm gonna drop my stuff hope the ghost isn't in this room i don't see my breath which is interesting maybe i'll come back with the thermo is the breaker even on i can't tell where's the lights over here okay the lights aren't even over here in this floor it's over here mm, okay lights are on so yeah if i want to hide i think i'm gonna have to come all the way to this one that's the one i trust the most because it's the furthest away all right though yeah look at the sanity i'm already almost in hunt range but that's the thing i need to prevent one with the crucifix so maybe i'll just be really dangerous in here let's go in with two crucifixes and maybe even a smudge or maybe just the firelight and see if i can just interact with the ghost a little bit but i want to get these in here first and we're already draining my sanity so let's just do that well since i'm going back in without my thermometer i'm gonna have to like actually sit in the room for a second and see if i can see my breath but that's all i should need i don't really need the uh thermometer to do that now let's turn on some of these lights i think the ghost is just gonna be in this room now one of these screws of is my i was emf is that emf5 oh my god emf5 luck every ghost i get is emf5 i don't know what that was i think it was this box closing whoa uh, maybe it wasn't <laughs> i don't know i want to like throw my stuff up here as a like a table and then I guess I'm gonna throw my light right in there just to light up that corner. Oh man, though. Unfortunately, one of these crucifixes doesn't cover up the whole thing, so one crucifix is gonna go be going on each side of the room. So, even though I didn't bring in any other evidence, we did get EMF 5. I swear, every ghost has been an EMF 5 ghost. Don't be a Raiju, please. Maybe now I should go and get other stuff, though, because we're not really draining sanity, and I need to start getting, like, the other evidence, so yeah, let's go get that. Alright, officially under photo of ghost. Maybe I won't go for photo of ghost, because, like I said, a lot of these things are going to have to add up in a long time. It's not like we're going for a perfect game on each map. You're supposed to just play this and play this until we get the community goals. So we are, we are supposed to be doing this all together. So maybe I won't worry about the photo. I will get the firelight, and then do the crucifix of course and i, I want to get hunted here on point hope and have fun with that so what do i bring in let's get this we'll see if it's freezing and then i still have my damn smudge on me so i guess i'm not bringing anything else ah i went up there and thought you know i've got these crucifixes down apparently i didn't cycle through my own inventory enough to find the smudge but we are in hunt range but i think the crucifixes will get used up in this room as long as it doesn't roam to another floor which is, that's like the worst thing that can happen on this map, if the ghost just decides to hang out on a different floor. Only thing I can give you now is the book, which... I want to put more center, yeah, just to cover as much of the room as possible. If it is writing, what's it going to be? Myling Shade or Spirit again? And I guess I can check for this. Ooh, it's pretty low, but not right on the line, isn't it? I don't know how warm the Blood Moon makes it. I mean, it's raining. See, it went down to one, but that's not freezing. That's just really cold. Hmm, it's getting there, though. Whoa, I thought I saw some weird stuff going on. Okay, part of me wants to turn off the breaker. And guess what? It's literally right here. So let's turn off the breaker for a minute and see if the temperature starts going down under freezing. It's probably just going to stay right here on the line. Oh, and <laughs> it is riding again. Alright, I'm going to drop that. 
Put in writing. Shade, spirit, or myelin. Maybe it's a shade again. Whoa, that was like a double light. Maybe both light switches were on. <gasps> oh my god, dude. That was a bad scare. That is one of the biggest scares I've had in this game in a while. I just looked to my left and she was standing right there. And also, I just did. I just turned that on and it went off, but it couldn't be a mare. Please calm down, ma'am. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna turn the breaker on. I'm gonna run away. Because <laughs> I don't want to die. Ah, Smudge, please get out of my inventory. I don't think she's gonna hunt, and if she does hunt, it'll be with that crucifix. But please, I need to get out of here for a second. Okay, let me check. <laughs> no crucifix. Uh, I don't know if that's a shade. Maybe this is a spirit. Do we have it? We had a shade at the very beginning, so maybe this is the spirit. But myling would be no. Okay, so it could be spirit box. It's not gonna be orbs. It's not gonna be dots. Huh, see, and that's why I'm looking for freezing again, because I feel like that's what it's going to be. But let's get the other evidence in here, and I'm, we have the one smudge, so I don't need any more defenses. The only, the, the other objective was the firelight. Ah, look at that sanity, down to nothing. Oh, so, taking the candle. Maybe I should take, okay. UV or freezing, we already have that, so UV and then yes, the salt, because I wanted to take in the salt, but I didn't know if I should. Alright, let's go in there, get these two objectives, and figure out this damn ghost. Wow, going through here with the UV looks super cool. I, I do love this event, and this is a lot more of a fun thing, because I like that, you know, you want to keep playing, and you want to keep going, because it's not like you just play it once and then you're done. It's going to be completed when the whole community gets together and does it, and we're really, we're going to have to wait for the console, which is only tomorrow. Excuse me? <laughs> wait, whoa, no. How are you hunting? How are you hunting? This is bullshit. How are you hunting? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to my bathroom hiding spot. You were coming down the stairs. I don't think she's in this floor. How did you hunt? This is dumb. How did she hunt? She got past my crucifixes somehow. And now, I was in the other room, so maybe it is a shade and it wanted to hunt in the other room. Uh, let me step outside again. I guess I'm just gonna run back up there and see. She must have done what I said and roamed to like the floor above and hunted because there's no way you get away. I bet it, what if you're like on the stair? Why? How? How are you hunting? Ah, uh, maybe you did change your favorite room. I can't hide here. I wanted to get somewhere where I'm not so far away. She's not coming down this way. I'm listening. Listen to her up there. It's over. There. You're not... You're not hunting. I think it's bullshit that you're in here avoiding these crucifixes. I don't know how you're doing this, but, but yeah, oh my god, this crucifix was like wasting a lot of space, so there. That's in here. Where's that other crucifix? Just put these like some more, I don't know how you were surviving these. You've been super active. Oh my god, I don't have my damn lighter again. I'm just so out of it from this. I just never grabbed the lighter. Okay, if you're not freezing yet, I don't think it's going to be. She's hunting. Oh, she's hunting down there too. Cool, you are roaming. That's okay, so yeah, that's point hope. If you have no sanity, they're gonna roam. I'm going to do something cheeky and hide behind this. But apparently this is actually a really good hiding spot. She don't come up here though. We're still on normal hunt range, or hunt links. We're, we didn't mess with the cursed item. I, yeah, I'm not touching that mirror. I thought that was the rocking chair up here, but there's not a rocking chair up here. There's a pawn, probably. I don't know jazz, obviously, but I think that's a pawn. Okay, ghost. Do I really need to, like, have a crucifix and a whole other floor? This is your room, because it's cold, but you've been roaming, and then if you're a shade... I don't think you're a shade. I think you're a spirit. That's the problem. Okay. I'm just gonna do this since you've been leaving the room a lot. 
And I, I think I dropped my UV down here in panic. Yes. All right, ghost. Please. I, I like. I like that this is a hard finale. But I, I was just about to take that down there. Now you're gonna walk through all the salt. Okay. Well, again, I am glad this is a harder finale. But this ghost. It's because I have no sanity. She's roaming down to other floors. Do you see me? I don't think she saw me. Oh my god, this pool table is terrifying. I love how you can see those eyes in the dark, though. It actually does help you see the ghost if everything's pitch black. So in a way, that can help a new player. So what are you... <laughs> well, you didn't really screw up this game too much. Here, here's a light I can turn on. Okay, do I just take a crucifix to the other floor? Because you... Yeah, I know you walked through this. Still had my UV on me. The only one you didn't walk through was that. I mean, if it's not freezing, let me walk down here and see. No, it is... I mean, it's cool, but this is not your, your room. Okay, if you're down here, I am... Taking this crucifix and I'm shoving it up your ass. I will stand here, down here with you, and you will use up this crucifix if that's what it takes. I'm gonna stand in the center of this room. If you're upstairs, there's a crucifix. If you're down here, there's a crucifix. I don't know, your favorite room is up there, but you've been hanging out down here. I do still have my. Oh, I don't have the lighter though. Okay. All I have is this, the crucifixes. Oh, I hate this ghost so much. Maybe I take some sanity. <gasps> I thought she was upstairs. Dude, what the hell? This was the worst ghost ever. I thought she was upstairs. <laughs> I really should have taken more time. I thought I heard the upstairs sound. <laughs> oh my god, just keep going then. Alright, you know what? What was this ghost? Uh, that's fine with me. Miling. So what would the this miling have been? <laughs> Two team points. Great. All right. Well, I will probably be doing more of these. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work out because the event, you know, it's a team effort. So I could sit here and do this all day. <laughs> 0.03. Maybe it is going up. But there's no, it sucks. There's no way to see how many points I've earned total. There should be like a, I don't know, some way of keeping track of all of it. Maybe I'm just missing it. But I think for now we're going to call that that. And... <laughs> There's still more to be done here, and there might be even more secrets that I haven't found. But it's going to be coming down to everyone in the community getting together and doing this, and then we'll get the wards together as a group. It's not like an individual thing this time. But also, there's also these other rewards, so... I guess these will be ones I just go for kind of slowly, because it's literally just correctly identify ghost and survive 50 times, you know. It's not really a specific challenge, it's just something kind of like in the background for you to go for. But alright. I think that's going to be the finale for this event, but I need to say tomorrow there is going to be a special for the one year anniversary and the console, but I know last video I said that there would be a live stream, but I said that before ever actually even trying to live stream and I was just like, yeah, I'll be able to stream and then I actually started doing test streams and it turns out there's a lot more to it. I was dropping frames. There's so much stuff you need to figure out with your internet, your computer. There's a lot more to it, and I just simply should have figured this out way before. I was just like, the day before all this, I was like, yeah, I'll stream, that'll be cool. It turns out that I don't want to stream and be dropping frames, so I'm going to be doing super long videos for the anniversary for console, and then also for Halloween. So I'm sorry that I said I'd be doing a stream. I'm not going to be able to stream just yet, because I don't have time to figure it out. So I'm just going to be doing continuous daily videos, following all this, and we're just going to enjoy Halloween this year, and... Also, maybe hopefully enjoy the console a bit too. I don't think I'm gonna be, I'm not going to be playing on console, but I might be playing with someone on console. All right, so this is the beginning of the Halloween 2024. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.